Welcome to Coverage Doc, provided by Roanoke Trade, a division of Roanoke Insurance Group. If you have any questions or need assistance with Coverage Doc, please email coveragedoc at roanoketrade.com. In this session, we will enter and book insurance for a shipment and print an insurance certificate. Note that Coverage Doc works best with Internet Explorer. Log in to Coverage Doc. If you are a new user, your user ID and password will be emailed to you from postmaster at oceanwide.com. The policy information will default based on your user ID. You can check it at the center of the screen. The welcome screen shows a list of shipments that have been created during the past 30 days. It will also re list recent templates and outstanding referrals on quote requests. To begin, select the Shipments menu and choose Certificates. All of the fields marked with an asterisk are required. Any other fields are optional. The date of departure defaults till today's date. You can change it to match the bill of lading date. If there is more than one assured company attached to your policy, you will have a drop-down option to choose from. If not, there will only be one selection. Click in the Named Assured field. A list of previously used assureds will appear. You can select one of these or type in a new company. The assured's country defaults to USA. Change if needed. Click the box to save this assured if you plan to use it again. Enter your reference number in the shipment. This field can be used to look up your shipment in the future. It will also print on invoices that you get from us. Click on the Commodity field. You'll see a list of choices. Select the option that best fits your description of goods. If you don't see a specific commodity listed, use New General Merchandise. Use special quote received only when instructed by us. Most likely there will only be one packing category which will pre-fill in the field. Click in the coverage option field. Choose the option that you want. Enter the invoice value of the shipment. Add the freight charges in the next field. The CIF markup pulls in from your policy information. You can change it, but that may result in a shipment referral. If this is an import shipment, enter the duty amount to insure it as well. These numbers will be totaled and 10% added to calculate the insured value of the shipment. Click in the Conveyance field to select the method of transportation. For air, truck, or rail shipments within the U.S. and Canada, choose Domestic Transit. Check the Transshipment box if your shipment will be traveling on more than one primary conveyance. Do not use the Override Vessel Validation checkbox. If you've chosen Vessel, enter the name of the vessel in the Vessel field. A partial name will work as well. A list of vessels will pop up that includes the vessel's IMO number if you have it. Pick the correct vessel. Or, if you don't know the IMO number and there are several options to choose from, as shown here, use the binoculars at the right to look up the vessel. The carrier name will be pulled onto the screen based on the vessel name. You can overtype this field if necessary. Do not use the lookup feature for the carrier. Enter a voyage number if desired. 
Enter the country, state or province, and city of origin. The text to appear on certificate can be used to make changes in the origin information to match a letter of credit. In the loading section, enter the country if it's different from the point of origin. Type in the city or airport code of the airport or seaport for the loading facility. Use the binoculars to look up the correct code in the database. If coverage is not to apply until after the goods are loaded onto the conveyance, check the box labeled No Risk Prior to Loading. The destination and discharge information are completed in the same way as the origin and loading sections. Check the No Risk After Discharge box only if coverage is to stop after the vessel or aircraft is unloaded. The claim settling agent list will be populated by the destination that you enter. You can select any of the agents shown for that area. Enter the full description of the cargo being shipped. We recommend that you be as complete as possible. For example, Include the number of items, boxes, cartons, or pallets, and the type of package. Include serial numbers of the cargo if applicable. Enter identifying marks and numbers on the shipment. For letter of credit shipments, enter the specific insuring conditions that are required in the letter of credit. These will print on the certificate. The additional information at the bottom of the screen is all optional. Use those fields only in special circumstances where you need to modify what will print on the certificate. Enter a quote number only if you've been given one by your Roanoke service rep. Now click on Verify Coverage. If you have forgotten to fill in any required fields, a red error message will appear and ask you to complete the missing information. The software checks the details of your shipment against the insuring terms on your policy. If the shipment is approved, a screen will appear with your premium and insuring conditions on it. You can change any information on the shipment at this time. If you make any changes, you'll need to check the Verify Coverage button again. Choose the correct certificate format from the drop-down list. You will typically see an option labeled Certificate, which is the negotiable insurance document, and an evidence of insurance, which is a less formal document that can be used to validate your file. Use the Print Draft feature to view or print the certificate before you finalize it. If you have a letter of credit requirement for the certificate, we recommend at this point that you save the shipment as a template. Before you do so, scroll up to the Reference Number field and change the number to your shipper name or your file number so that you can find the shipment easily when you need it. You can also save templates for shipments that occur frequently, such as similar shipments for the same customer that you'll use repeatedly. Use the Request Quote feature in, to contact your service representative if you need different insuring conditions or special pricing. That page contains a Notes and Follow-ups button where you can enter comments about what you need. Click on Confirm Booking to record the shipment. You'll note here a red error message has appeared 
since I've created a, a shipment that is very similar to another shipment. If I want to check or reprint the other shipment, I may do so based on the instructions. Or I can click Book New Shipment to ensure coverage for a new shipment. Make sure that you have Adobe Reader installed on your computer. You can now proceed to print the certificate. Click Open to open the document. From here, you may print and sign the certificate. There are a few other features that you can use at this point. If you need to issue another certificate for the same shipper with similar information, you can click on the copy button to make a copy of the certificate you just created. Change the information you need and verify coverage to proceed and process the next shipment. To cancel the certificate, click on the cancel button. The Cancel and Replace feature will cancel the original certificate and create a copy that you can edit and re-verify coverage as a new certificate. Use the Change button to request changes to the document that your service representative will have to do. The Change button puts the shipment into a referral status. If your shipment falls outside the parameters of your policy, when you verify coverage, you'll get a referral message. I'm going to copy the shipment and show a referral example. It shows the reason for the referral, which can be the value of the shipment, the countries of origin or destination, sanction screening, or other causes. To process the referral and have your service rep review the shipment, scroll to the bottom of the page and click on Confirm Referral. When you click on Confirm Referral, an email will automatically be sent to your service rep with a copy to you. Once the referral has been processed and either approved or declined, you'll get another email. If the shipment has been confirmed, you can go in and print the certificate at that time. At the bottom of the screen, when you confirm a shipment or referral, there is a place to add attachments. Use this for documents you want Roanoke to have, like an export license or detailed commodity. To search for an existing shipment, click on Shipments, Query List from the menu bar. You can filter your search by using any of the criteria listed here. For example, if I want to see shipments created only after a specific date, I will enter a date in either the departure or issue field. If I want to see only shipment templates, I can click on the template box and search on that basis. Thank you for using this webinar. If you have any questions, please contact your Roanoke Service Representative or coveragedoc at roanoketrade.com.